so I'm just going to start this part of my journey here uh, up to Hawthorne from the tennis courts. Um, and so you can see going up. So in that area there, here's the tennis courts, but through there are all the trail systems. Uh, there's actually really fun mountain biking trails and, and uh, bits and pieces there. And then there's the Bay to Bay Trail that um, we'll see as I go up here. So there's the tennis courts. And then as we go up here, there's the lovely Bay to Bay Trail. which you can just hop right on because here is the subdivision, which is absolutely lovely. So this is the corner lot. This is it from this perspective coming in. So I'm gonna go round Hawthorne because it's a loop so that you can see what development is happening um, and see what you think. That last lot, um, lot 12 is a resale which means that it doesn't incur HST that many subdivisions get do end up charging and that's at a 15% over and above the ask price. So it is actually quite significant. Um, so that's a good savings on that lot. It is the only resale lot um, signposted here. Um, and this is the subdivision. So some houses are being built, some have been built. And undoubtedly, some are going to be built. But really, a lovely community, it looks like. A lovely little um, spot just close to Mahone Bay. So this is your little cul-de-sac. So there's no exit. And therefore, no reason to be so lovely. no reason to have through traffic and if you can see down there there's the Bay to Bay Trail you can see so it really is quite lovely and now I'm going to show you what it looks like to head downtown there's lots of ways we can go downtown there's would be your neighbor right across and here is the corner lot is home sweet home <laughs> anyhow so now we're gonna go down towards Mahone Bay's Main Street and I'll try to give you some indicators along the way so there's the tennis courts there's the, the trail so very very quickly you can hit those walking trails there so we're gonna go the roadway down of course because I don't have my mountain bike on me it's bright though for an electric bike. Um, so there's lots of ways we can choose to go back downtown. If we went this way, you'd hit kind of the main streets, like if you continued along that road, and you would go down and hit a street that comes from Blockhouse and into Mahone Bay. It has like the little salt box brewery on the corner um, and uh, the bar and coffee shop. There's the fire hall right there, which is a great spot. We'll have events and stuff, very community, and look how close everything is. So here I am. Here I am walking down. Walking down. You would be walking down. I am driving down. So great. So there's a little park there. And here you are, you're already right in the downtown core. Like you really couldn't have such a nice quiet location but still be so close to the downtown core. So I'll show you when we hit this, this is the main street, the main tourist drive that we're just about to come on to. Where you probably Recognize the old stations and then the street that goes along the water. So this is all gorgeous Mahone Bay. So there's that junction that takes you along the water the other way. You might be stuck at traffic. 
very, very busy walking traffic, that is. Um, <laughs> now I'm going to take you off to the right. You can go left and along the water that way. We're going to go right and just see you are here. You have arrived downtown Mahone Bay. So we, had, we could have gone left to the three churches that you would know. I've just gone into the other way to the core, but you've got that way too. So every part of this town is gorgeous. So that is where you're at. And I think that lot and this community um, are real, uh, are real wonderful finds. And uh, we will talk soon. Bye.